A young man and woman stood before me in a brightly lit room. They both looked to be about 12 years old. We stood on some plateau and a large childlike mobile hung above our heads. Cut out shapes of moons and stars draped down just above my head. The strings that held the shapes seemingly had no origin as I looked up. The young man came up to me and said, Well, you pulled the right strings. I didn't know what he meant and I was surprised. Suddenly a face popped down and started to talk. It was an old man about 75 years old. His face had distinct lines and was overly expressive. His face was exaggerating every word and syllable, but I could not hear what he was saying clearly. I asked the boy what he was saying. He said with a big Cheshire cat grin, You pulled the right strings. Now you get to go to heaven. Two angels came and began to carry me up to heaven. I could see where they were taking me and that it was at a higher level. A small chasm divided us and there was no way of getting to the higher level except by angel flight. As we rose over the crest, my heart jumped for joy. There before me stood the father. His back was towards me and he was talking with some small children. His long robes and his hair were as white as snow. There were many children in the room, all walking on the same path he was. I looked to be the oldest in the room and guessed my age at about 12. Most were babies and the medium age seemed to be about five years old. I had never seen such golden-hearted people. Every person I looked at was a gem of God's and their hearts were so pure. They radiated with God's love. In all the other parts of heaven that I had been, I had never seen such people. A young man came up to me with disbelief in his eyes and spoke to me. No one from down there has ever made it this far before. That it is indeed a privilege to come this far and meet him. I immediately burst into tears. The intensity of his love was so overwhelming, I thought I was going to explode. Every pore of my being was trying to turn inside out. I wanted to laugh, scream, cry and fall down all at once. The intensity of this moment was indescribable. I knew that he had given me an incredible gift which had no earthly measure. When I looked down I could not believe what I was seeing. It was a beautiful little dog with pure white long hair. I think it was a Pollock or a Poli. I picked it up and began to pet it. It was God's dog I thought and I liked him. I saw daddy talking to some children so I grabbed hold of daddy's robe. When I touched him, I began to weep. I could not stop weeping, and I thought I would burst. Love itself was pouring through his robe to me. The intensity was overwhelming. I was not able to let go of his robe for anything. I felt such peace and never wanted to return to earth ever again. I found the love I had been searching for all my life. I held the dog in one hand and clung to his robe with my other hand. We stopped occasionally while other children came up to greet him. He spent time talking to them and just loving them. We would continue a little further and some more children would stop to talk to Daddy. I looked at the children walking by and they looked at me incredulously, which caused me to weep even more. Daddy began talking to me, but I could not make out everything he was saying. Some words were clear, others were more like mumbling. I watched his hand as he spoke and he constantly made gestures with it as if even his hand was speaking to me. His hand fascinated me and I could not stop studying it as we walked. His hand was pure white and had clear signs of being old. I knew that he was ancient of days and that he was wisdom. I looked up at him but the angle that I was at would not allow me to see his face. He kept talking to me continually but I could only hear certain sentences clearly. I began to weep again, thinking I had come this far to talk to Daddy, but I can't hear him very well, and I was waiting for a good moment to interrupt him, but none came since he was talking continually. I finally interrupted him and asked him, Daddy, could you please heal my hearing so I could hear you better? My voice sounded like a child, and it surprised me when I spoke. 
He stopped instantly, turned towards me, knelt down on his right knee, and put his hand over my left ear. He turned his head down and to my left so that I could not see his face. I looked at the top of his head and his pure white hair. I felt the most incredible anointing on my ear. The only way to describe it would be to call it pure love. Daddy responded so quickly, I thought I would ask for something else. A sudden boldness came over me and I asked, If there's anything else that needs fixing, could you fix that too, please? I figured that just about covered everything. With that, he took his hand off my left ear, placed it over my heart, and laid it on my chest. This surprised me, and frankly, I had never thought that my heart needed fixing. Again, I felt this incredible, intense love and began to weep even more. I was about to ask something else, but he heard my thoughts and said, Shh, it was a difficult thing you asked. The love I was feeling was so intense I could not stop weeping. I closed my eyes and began soaking in this moment. Suddenly I'm waking up in bed and immediately burst into tears. It was now four in the morning. I had been gone for four hours. I could not stop sobbing. That same intensity of his love and that feeling of bursting was still in me. I could clearly hear the song in my head. He walks with me and talks with me and tells me I am his own. I knew it was true. He really does. Every time I thought of what I saw, I would immediately burst into tears with deep sobbing. I am physically deaf in my left ear and I began to think about Daddy laying his hand over my ear. My heart sank as I realized I could still hear the ringing in my ears and I wasn't healed. Suddenly it dawned on me that maybe God healed my spiritual ears. My spirit jumped inside. I decided to test it. Nervously I asked, Daddy? He spoke audibly to me. Yes, my son? You pulled on my heartstrings. For four and a half years you cried out to me morning, noon, and night just to hear my voice more clearly. Today I have granted that request. You have truly sought me out and I have given you a great gift. I have never given such a thing to a man as this before. This indeed is a privilege. You need not get vain about this, for it was I who gave you the unquenching burden to find me. I started to weep again. I felt so privileged. The next hour or so we talked back and forth and I asked him many pressing questions that I had been asking him for many years. He answered me clearly and without hesitation. Many times I had to stop him in his answers because they were too wordy, and I wanted to get on to the next question, fearing he would leave. His voice sounded like an ocean swirling around, like a million voices in perfect unison. He spoke to me, Tell my people I want to be found by them.